What up, buddy? It's your boy, John Sonny. Back on another video. You know it, guys. Anyways, guys, here doing a review on the movie Heidi, which I just saw on Amazon Prime about was it last night. Yeah, it was last night, I believe. It was last night or the night before that. And it's, um, boy, well, um, it's kind of scared me. I mean, the ending was fucked up, but, uh, Okay, many of you who watch me know that my biggest worst count besides two I have two real big fears in this world and that's bees. I cannot stand bees or wasps or any of those creatures. I cannot stand them. And I fucking hate dolls. Now, dummies are fine. Dolls personally per porcelain dolls or very creepy plastic looking dolls freak me the fuck out and I can't stand them. Now, my favorite subgenre of horror film besides um, Supernatural and Slasher and uh, is uh, found footage. I love found footage films. I love them so much. Um, many of you who don't, if you don't know the found footage horror film or film, is it's basically some shit went down and it's all shot from the person's uh, person's view using a video camera, basically. And this movie, Heidi, is basically a found footage film. So what it's about, basically, is this guy named Ryan Davis and his best friend, Jank and Davis, are YouTubers who do prank videos on YouTube and do a bunch of stuff. And either it's Ryan, I think it's Ryan who gets hired by one of his neighbors, who's an old who's an older lady, while she's out of town to feed her cats and to, or not feed her, not feed her cats, feed and clean her, her bird, bird's cage. Her bir and the feeder birds clean the cage, you know, uh, sweep around the pool area and do some stuff, and that's about it. Also do some gardening, and do some gardening while they're there, um, watering the plants. Uh, while she's out away. While he's away, or while she's away, he does all that, and his friend goes with him, and his friend's joking with him, and they end up finding, uh, something happens to one of the, I guess, the attic area, and they go up in this attic, and these, all these stuff that most likely does not belong to, what's his name, what's his name, uh, the lady, I don't even, even they said, I don't think she even knew this was existed, and all the stuff in there belonged to this one gentleman, I forgot the guy's name though, and, like, there, like, there's some nice shit, like, literal gold, um, a gold diorama or something, I don't know what, some old paintings, like, it's not a Van, he is this, not a Van Gogh, but it still might be worth some money, and, um, some Pretty vintage comic books too, like some Marvel, like so, it's like they're like vintage comics that like worth a, might be worth a lot of money, maybe hundreds of dollars, maybe that's about, about it. But and um, then there's a doll, and I don't know how to play this in like the scenario you could put it in. It's not like Chucky in where. Chucky gets up and moves around all the fucking time, and is like, fucking, like, like, you know, like, like he's there and he talks to you. Like, he's like, um, Heidi's like that, but it's not like that. See, Heidi is not possessed by uh, an evil, a spirit of a serial killer. It's possessed by a demon, and I'm getting this demon pretty fucking powerful because just by the um but it wouldn't well obviously it wouldn't be destroyed it kills a lot of people um it kills ryan's best friend at a party by the way these kids were i don't know how the fuck they were very popular in high school it, it was um they killed his best friend it kills his family it kills ryan's kills ryan's best friend family sorry Ryan's best friend's family. It kills Ro this psychic that they go to um, to uh, have help for it. Okay, try to have help. It kills Ryan's dog. Poor ass dog gets like destroyed. He tries to burn. Legit, this is the the, the saddest but the funniest thing. Also, is when he finds his dead dog and it th there's in a park like in his, in his backyard. And then he looks and he, he sees the swing on the swing set area. 
and it's Heidi the doll is fucking in the swing set area. Jesus fucking Christ, this kid is shit. That was the most fucked up part ever. Um, Heidi was the Heidi um, was in the, was there. Uh, the doll would move like he put the he put it in a closet, would throw it in the closet and put a camera right there. It would move the fucking the, the doll would move. He shows it to his mom once he was like, oh, it's like, how'd you get it? That's awesome. How'd you get to do that? I didn't do that. It did it on its own. Like, oh, nice party. Nice try. The, the weirdest part was, for me, was personally the, the scary part was the ending. Um, there's also, they, they do something that, I don't know, to this, like, the one thing is he tries to get rid of the doll so many times, but it just doesn't want to leave. Like, it, like, literally... There's one scene where a detective literally keeps bringing the doll back to him. And I'm saying, dude, stop bringing him the fucking doll. If he doesn't want the doll, he don't have to take the doll. In my point of view, here's what I would say. I swear to God, the detective gave me the doll back. I don't want it. You can keep it. Okay? You can keep it. I don't want it. Take it off. Take it away from here, please. Literally, it's all he. Ha Why did and uh, like the detective keep saying your friend killed these people and that people and uh, like he's like this guy thinks he's wanted he wants him for murder because his friend gets murdered at a party that he was there and they had an argument about something they stopped being friends about I don't fucking know and then so at one point they get she they get um he and this girl I'm not sure if it's his girlfriend or just a friend gets uh rid of the doll, Heidi, um, by, literally what he does, he tapes it up, duct tapes it, like, bounds it, like, bounds it, like, in, like, string and rope, duct tapes it, then puts, like, a metal chain around it, okay, and then just, they go, rent a boat or, out for, like, a day, or, like, a half an hour or whatever, and they go on to the middle of this lake, all the way out of the middle of this lake, and they just, and then the lady, the girl, the friend, or either the girl, either the girlfriend or a friend, just a friend, says, yeah, this is the deepest part of the lake. They just drop it, and he's just saying, sing, come on, sing, and it sinks. And then it, they're all celebrating. I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't do that. Like, like I, I just have a feeling, it's like, even I, like, I have a feeling that's not the end of this video. Like, you, like oh, everything's okay. No, it's not the way how it's going to end. Um... The, end, the ending is the most fucked up scene ever because I, I, I literally don't know how this happened. But, anyways, there's a scene um, when they're, she's helping, either it's his sister, I believe. He's helping his sister by um, filming her routine while she's doing ballet. ballet. And all of that is there's cut ins to like different things that are going on. Like at the lake where they dropped her, all the fish are suddenly just like showing up dead on shore. For no, not like you know, ecological or chemical or some reason. So that's like, oh my god, what the fuck? And then, then they're sending another doll. Then they um, the the lady who the psychic who they brought the doll to, they have like you know a reading with and like stuff, dies in our house, being burnt on fire like her house fire. The third and the most fucked up one was the detective dies from being shot. No, I don't know what happened. He, um, he was in a car accident and dies in a car accident. A lot like the guy who they had researched who had the stuff in the attic had died before. He died in a car accident and stuff. And how they found out what it is. He was going to sell all that stuff on eBay. Um... Anyways, back to the video, uh, back to the, the ending of the movie. The ending was the most, I think, the most horrifying part. Because to this, to this, I do not know how this happened in this part. But when, uh, at one point, she ends up, he ends up finding his, like, people bloodied and shit. And he gets his ass knocked out by the doll, I believe, or something like that. And then it just shows the, the doll t dragging his body and then the camera being placed and he wakes up tied to, so similarly just like 
he um like he tied her up technically, the doll, and all around the, the, the during the film there is written in like red paint or blood. I don't I think it's blood. Is you want to play you know like you want to play a game like you know kind of like Chucky but like not with Chucky, um, and then. Like, you see it at first, like, is that what I just thought I saw? He, he says, Ryan, you wanna play? And you see, like, a head pop out, and then you see it go back in. I'm like, I'm like is, that, is that what I just thought I just saw? And then, towards the, like, the very end, it's like, he's just freaking the fuck out, he's trying to get, let uh, go. And then you just, it goes full frame, and you see Heidi, life-size. Like, you know, now, I'm mean, life size it's like the same size as Ryan. It's the same size as him. Do not fucking know how, because the doll is small as shit. It's like a little kid's doll. It's like a Cabbage Patch doll. Small, okay? That's how small it is. It's not the size of a, of a full-grown person. Ryan's like in his mid, t like maybe 16, 17. 17, I believe, because he never drove to anywhere, I don't think. At least I don't think so. But he's 17 years old, I believe. To be the same height. I think it was even taller than him. Um, and that was the end of the film. It just says, you want to play? As it charges towards him, and telling him to us at the end of the film. Um, that's the end of the film. Basically, uh, obviously Heidi's going to kill him. And that's what they found was left. But uh, yeah, um, that's the movie Heidi I saw on Amazon Prime. Definitely go check it out if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, it was a great movie, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Give you a hint. Been waiting. Someone's been waiting for this video. My top ten favorite assassins from Assassin's Creed. Like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.